Mariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your pick a card, any card for the week of May 27th through the 2nd, guys. I am posting this video because I am going out of town this weekend to go celebrate my baby's graduation. My, my niece is graduating from high school. So she was the baby. She was our first baby, so we're all super excited. And I will be going out of town to go visit her. So I figured I'd put something together for this upcoming week because I'd be gone all weekend and I wanted you guys to have some fun with me. Now, be sure that you share this with your friends. You can kind of see what they're going through too. You can tell, which number did you pick? And they don't even have to explain. You'll be like, mm-hmm, and now you know. <laughs> all right, guys. Welcome, welcome back. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. I hope you guys are doing super, super fantabulous, fam. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to join with you. And thank you for um, playing along with us. So, this is how it's gonna work. Take a deep breath. Pick the set that you like, one, two or three and then I will have them time stamped on here for you. We will start the first one at 1.30. Let's see what we got going on here. We got some interesting energy when I was these cards were falling out. So first half we have a personal power as um, your mental state for this week. So this is about reclaiming everything that is yours, reclaiming your energy, reclaiming your time, but you're reclaiming something, all right? Personal power is uh, attributed to the number 21, which is the number three. Some of you guys are dealing with third parties. Third parties doesn't have to be always in love. This could be in work. This could be too many, too many chiefs and not enough Indians at work. However you want to look at this, but this is about reclaiming your power. This is a Siberian tiger, and he wants you to address a personal boundary issues. So a little bit about this card is tigers are predators. They know the need to be secretive. Um, and they're also standing strong and powerful. It's essential to their survival. I almost feel like you're gonna have to stand your ground this week. There's something about the color blue. Uh, maybe it's your throat chakra, but I think you might be watching somebody with blue eyes, maybe because even the two cups is blue. But this is time to encourage a healthier environment, releasing toxic relationships and friendships, um, even negative attitudes that you might even be carrying yourself. But it's just time to cut yourself free from the game, big baby. Now. On a physical note, mouse is coming through. And mouse is one of those, those cards for me. I always think of this card when it's like a contract or something. There is a lot of information in the details. So this card comes out when you're overlooking important things. You need to pay closer attention to what's going on. Like do their words and their actions match? I mean, are you saying I love you and doing something else? <laughs> or are you saying, yes, that's a great idea, but going with another person? So making sure that you're paying really close attention to the detail, having caution, and um, paying attention to everything that comes across your path, okay? Because mouse is very small, so pay attention to the small things in life because they will add up to be bigger. Now, something else that um, I've been trying to work with, I'm working with this Egyptian tarot, trying to learn a little bit better, and I have the Two of Cups reversed that fell out for you from the deck. And this is, of course, the ending of a partnership, the ending of love, but it's the ending of something, and it's almost being very disappointed in it also. Um, two of Cups reversed is just like, no, mm -mm. Um, Unlucky, just pay very close attention to everything that you're coming into partnership with, whether it's the relationship or whether it's a partnership at work, whether it's in the family, but there's going to be some discord and some um, unlucky situations, or it can be viewed as unlucky, okay? Now, Yin is coming out, and when this card came out, I thought it was really interesting because I feel like all the cups are, are going the wrong way. Um, however, sometimes that's what needs to happen in toxic relationships. Somebody needs to go the wrong way so that they can leave or exit stage left. Now, Yin is usually a card of being very patient and in your element, and what's interesting is attributed to the number two. So these are, this is definitely a partnership that's, that's coming into play. However, this is about being open to love, maybe being open to a new situation, and I would say this is about you pouring, your, pouring into yourself and removing your cup. 
I'm not even going to go with what this card means because this is a whole different color scheme. You see all that blue on one side and then this card that represents your soul is saying, hey, it's time for some pinks and some purples. <laughs> it's time for you to treat yourself, okay? So that is your mind, body, and soul. We are going to jump into the card read. And let me bless the deck. All right, got four. I'm going to cut the deck. I'm going to show you what we got. So I have the four of wands with the seven of cups reversed. Um, it's time for you to make a decision so that you can have a damn dirty celebration, okay? It's time to celebrate. It's time to have a good time. They're just flying all over the place. Okay. First position is the situation. Genesis. Second position is what's needed. It's not, not even too bad, huh? Third position is this, the, it's the obstacle, the situation, and the, I mean, the obstacle, the advice, and the outcome. Sorry. So, I don't know. I'm probably saying it all wrong. Anyways, what's needing to happen this week is Genesis. We need to rewrite our story. It's almost like we need to take ownership of what's going on. And what I like is that this Ace of Wands is showing up and it's shining light and what's going on and what's about to happen. So it's going to be very important for you this week. Uh, some of y'all might be dealing with fire signs for sure because of all the energy that's coming in. It's a very creative energy too. But it's time to start something new. Just because there's an ending doesn't mean it has to be so bad and so terrible. However, we can shed some light on what's happening and what's moving forward. Genesis Upright is rewriting your story. This is the creation of the universe. I feel like you're creating something new. And sometimes when we create new things, we have to let go of the old. Now, the Ace of Wands is kind of like the advice shining through, making sure you know what's going on. The strength reverse, I'm going to say this could possibly be with somebody from your past, okay? They want to come back in. They're trying to come in. This is attributed to the sign of Leo, so you may be dealing with a Leo, all right? Or you are the Leo who needs to find strength and, and reclaim your power and reclaim your time. I would like to clarify. Let's see if Genesis wants to be clarified. No. How about with... No. All right. Life restored. Oh, this is the scarab beetle. This is, I'm telling you, this is why you have to re rewrite your story. It is time for you to get get through the traumas, get through the dramas, rewrite your story. And I keep saying it because this is like super, super strong. I even feel like the Ace of Wands could be that pen. But it's time for you to get your life back. It's time for you to revive yourself, feel better about yourself, and move to the next phase of life. Okay, so that is card number one. I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. I'm going to put these back into the deck. <laughs> All right. Just mix them up a little bit. <sighs> Card number two. We're going to start it at nine minutes just to be even. Okay. But let's see. We have intuition, sacrifice, whoa, unicorn, and milk and honey. And this is a really interesting week for you because I feel like you already know what you got to do. And if you don't know, and now you know. <laughs> All right. Intuition is telling you, man, you have got to start using your intuition and trusting it. A lot of times we, we get the vibes. We know something's going to happen. We can feel it. But we're like, nah, I'm wrong. That's not true. That's not true. However, there's something about the third eye because I see the unicorn and I see um, the eye in the middle coming out of the Merkaba sign. So listen very closely to your inner voice. This is attributed to the number 17. So this is all about communication because it comes down to the number eight. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. OK, it's time for you to kind of think about what you want in the long run. A lot of times we do. Um, it's called um, we react to a lot of things that don't need a reaction. I feel like this might be one of those weeks that it, it might be a little bit better of an idea to kind of hold back 
and um, see like intuitively what you're feeling and what, what you need to do to move forward. Now, unicorn is coming in. Some of y'all might be doing some creative projects, you know, a lot of creative writing, using that third eye, doing just, just some different kinds of things just because unicorn is showing up. And unicorn is all about magic. It's all about infinite possibilities. It's also about honesty. This is power, shape-shifting, removing negative energy. So it's going to be really important for you to kind of put that, that um, I would say, high vibes all the way around. And you kind of see like the illumination around the, the unicorn here, and then you see the illumination over here. So I do feel like you're going to get some downloads this week. You're going to get, you're, you need to trust the vibes that you are getting, okay? Now, this interesting card right next to it is from the tarot deck of the Egyptian tarot. And this is actually the hangman. It's called Sacrifice, okay? And this is an interesting card in the fact that it looks like it's something that is like, oh, this is not the most friendliest picture, okay? But this is telling you it's time to detach from a situation. I would say kind of get um, in a different perspective of the situation before you react. Um, the hangman is all about knowing what you need to do, but kind of being stuck in that state of suspension. And you see here, he's kind of stuck in that state of suspension. So wait, waiting for that illumination to come through, waiting for the answer to come through. That's possibly what's going on this week. Now, milk and honey is your soul card. So I'm going to tell you, 51 comes down to the number six. So we are celebrating maybe children, some fun things in life, being a little nostalgic. But this is like opportunities are born in everything, trusting that your needs will be met. I'm going to say believing in, in the good things like magic and stuff because of the unicorn. And then we have um, the little elephant down here. And the elephant is all about getting the obstacles out. So I feel like you're part of the obstacle this week for yourself. Um, it's going to be really important for you just to relax and enjoy the good things in life. Um, focus on what is working and then pull back away from the problem that you're having in order to um, get a better perspective of what's going on. All right. So let's see what comes out for you guys. I'm going to give it two little things and then I'm going to cut it and we're going to see the energy coming in. So we have the Ten of Pentacles with a judgment. So, haha. <laughs> We are in a situation that we feel like we should be completely satisfied with, but we still have to make a really, I would say, big decision because it's judgment and we're getting close to the universe at 21. So with that, I think that's why it's telling you the hangman, like kind of pull back, make sure that this is what you want to do and trust your intuition. Ooh. All right. Well, that was quick. We have the two of cups, nine of pentacles. And the two of wands, it's just the way they fell out, okay? So, two twos, we are dealing with possibly something that we have to, there's definitely a decision to be made, whether it is in love or in action, but we're hoping that it's something that gives us the benefit of the, of the run, I'm telling you, because we put in a lot of work and effort to it. So, our situation right now is we really want this to work out. <laughs> the obstacle is if I invest all my time, energy, and money into this, Am I going to get the return that I want, which is the two of wands and the two of wands is all about that decision. So your your week is about decisions, whether it's in love or in action, it's something that's coming through. And I want to see more on the two of wands. Let's see which deck. OK, we're going to go with the animal deck. What will help with the two of wands? walrus oh man it just wants you to stay there and watch the situation pay attention to the signs and omens because it's something about being in suspense it, this is a good week to be in suspense for you because i think like everything is going to play out for you the interesting thing is like walrus is a very passive card but i think while you're being passive and enjoying your life this week it's telling you to tap into your intuition intuitively your soul already knows what you need to do so there's no need to rush into that okay and that's what walrus is trying to lead you in all right Let's go to card number three. <laughs> Illusion. All right. 15. We'll just say at 15. 
Okay, so illusion is coming in for your mind. Oh, number three, number three, number 15 in this deck, so it's a six. You are a little bit confused about something from the past because it's a six. You're looking at the situation and um, things are not as they seem and you need more information. Uh, do not be misled this, this week. This is about um, seeing things but, but being alert, okay? Don't trust the smoke and mirrors. Distractions are everywhere. It's time for you to reassess your direction and uncover a different path. I feel like there's more ways for you to get out of the situation than you think there is because um, there's it's just an illusion. It looks one way, but it could be a totally different way. And then right next to it, leading um, right next to it is the hermit. Okay, it's very these cards are so difficult for me. I'm like, which number is that? <laughs> And it's attributed to number nine, okay? But this hermit is reversed. It doesn't necessarily mean like um, anything negative. The hermit for me is really negative. It's always about spiritual enlightenment, getting the answers that you need. But this talks about delays um, being made because maybe you're just, you're just afraid to make the decision that needs to be made. So be very careful not to be reckless or things like that. Take your time in making the decision. See things from a different perspective, similar to number two. Now, your animal guidance physically is shark. And shark is, is trusting your intuition to discern the truth of a situation. The thing about a shark is that it never stops. It doesn't stop being a shark. It's always a shark, whether it's with his friends or alone, okay? So this is about respect. This is survival, unpredictability. So I feel like you're gonna have to be very prepared because even with the hermit reverse, it said um, reckless behavior. So you may not be the one acting reckless, okay? You may be dealing with somebody who's acting reckless and your instincts are telling you, oh, something isn't right. And this also talks about um, early childhood conditioning when it talks to the when it talks about the shark so maybe it was something that you were told when you were little and now you're not so sure if that's really going to pan out for you you agree with it or not so take time to just trust your gut go 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 with the wave right don't fight the water but uh don't go attacking every wave that comes at you either okay trust your instincts now on a soul level you have between worlds which is the number three in this deck this is quite quite interesting because you're like halfway one way and halfway the other way. And the reason why it's an illusion and the reason why it's telling you to trust your instincts is because there's really, this is not a good time to make a decision because you don't have all the information at, <coughs> sorry, at hand. But this is a time to explore energy between you and another person, you and you and a job. It's just time for you to make sure before you fully commit to anything, okay? And what I like is like it's leaving something in the back and like the darkness in the back and walking towards the light. So hopefully by the end of this week, maybe by the second or by the first, you will be seeing things a little bit more clear, okay? Now, um, it's always a gamble, so making sure that before you jump into a situation this week, okay? Because the energy has been intense, and I don't know how many of y'all have felt it, but I sure as hell felt it. Um, take your time to really look at things, okay? Not everything needs a reaction. Not everything needs you to jump on it immediately. Take a step back. Think about what it is you really want to do or what you're hoping to accomplish with this conversation or with this action, and and play it out a little bit before you commit to it, all right? So let's see what the cards have for you. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. Nine of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups reversed. So I kind of feel like this is a situation where you will be banking on something because you have finally made your decision. The Seven of Cups reversed is like, you're done with all the bullshit. You're done with the bull caca, okay? Ah, there it is. Okay, first position is the Four of Arrows, taking a break. Then we have a Carob, and then we have another Carob. Oh, you're getting a lot of angel medicine, medicine messages this week, baby. So it's going to be really important for you to take a step back. This is about taking a different movement towards the situation, because this Four of Arrows is all about rest. It's all about... 
in a relationship, if you're if you're focusing on relationship, this is taking a step back from the relationship. Not necessarily breaking up, okay, but taking a step back and making sure this is something that you want to proceed with, okay? We have the tree of life in the background. We have this lion-like energy right here. But those four arrows that are going up is about healing, restoration, and taking a break, okay? Now, two carobs in your read, for me, it's like you need to meditate this week. <laughs> you need to ask them to help you with them illusions so that you can see things clearly. Now, the carob of arrows right here is bringing in information. It's also about unconditional love. So usually when we're going through a phase of having to make a decision or going through a transitional phase, because between two worlds, I think about transitional, um, we tend to forget that we have to be kind to ourselves. We're always, we're, well, not always. For the most part, we're usually kind to others, but we're not as kind to ourselves. So this is about being kind to yourself and making sure that you treat yourself the right way. Now let's see if this wants to clarify. Okay, we're gonna use the tarot deck to clarify. What is the message from, whoo! Whoa, we're gonna go with this one. The Magician Reverse. You are going to get some information about somebody or a situation that looked nothing like you thought it was. Tricks on you. <laughs> it's like, um, what happened, Houdini? Who, who is this person? What does this mean? What the hell is going on? And it's really important that you take that step back because that goes right back to that mental illusion. So the thing about the magician, when his mask falls off, you're like, whoa, what the hell is this? This is like when you go and they do the magic trick and they're like, look at this hand, look at this hand. And all of a sudden the other hand is doing something else, but you're so busy looking at that one hand, you didn't see what the other one was doing. And that is what your spirit guide is really trying to tell you, or that is what your instincts are really trying to tell you. All right, let's see if this wants to go for the carob. No. Mm. Where did that deck go? I hate when I can't find stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll try this deck. Nope, doesn't want that deck. Not that deck. Mm -mm. Okay, wants to go with the Egyptian tarot. Let's see. Y'all bear with me, because if it's if it's a Roman numeral, I might it might take me a minute. Damn it! It's a Roman numeral! <laughs> But it's the chariot upright because I at least recognize the card. Anyways, this is all about victory. So this is why it's telling you about the illusion. This is why it's telling you, hey, hey, <laughs> trust your instincts because we're going for a ride, okay? We are between worlds. We are transitioning. Things are not as they seem. But if you trust the energy or if you trust the messages that you're getting, you will come out victorious. Now... The chariot is the victory. And this is like interesting because you have like the all, the all seeing eye above, right? As above, so below. So I kind of feel like you will be able to see everything that's going on. It's interesting that this, um, this carob is reversed, which is to the water signs. And chariot is usually attributed to, I think it's, can't no, is it cancer? I'm not sure. Anyways, I think it's attributed to a water sign. Anyways, this is about success. <laughs> Maybe we're getting married. I don't know. Maybe you're making a decision on proposals. But this is all about ambitions and direction. But I feel like it's almost like you thought you were going to be doing one thing. So you took a step back. You asked for guidance. It came. You saw what it was. And even though it's not going to end the way that you want it to, you're still coming out victorious. Okay? It's still a win-win. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have... Um, the seven of wands reverse so i'm going to tell you somebody is um someone's telling some dirty lies or making things appear like they're not but do not worry if you trust your instincts and stay alert and don't believe all the smoke and mirrors which is interesting that the magician reverse came out you will come out victorious you will come out ahead and you'll be moving forward into the next month all right, big baby, big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. I hope you guys have a blessed, blessed week. If you're interested in a personal read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Stay tuned, guys. I will have the monthlies up in the next few days. Nope, the next week because <laughs> I'll be out of town. All right, guys, be blessed.